Hey guys, in this video I want to show you a little gadget that I made for my pick and place. This is a 3D printed magnetic bracket that I used to hold down and secure the PCBs and panels on the surface, on a work surface in my pick and place. Before that I was using bare magnets which uh, were not as convenient and once they stick to the base I have to slide them off and then pick them up again, put them somewhere else and also if they're too close to the edge they can just slide off if there's too much vibration. So that makes them uh, hard to use and inconvenient. So that's why I wanted to make something easier to use. Um, and I made this bracket that can hold uh, different types of magnets. This one can hold um, smaller round magnets. It has the screw there to make it easy to pick up and move, slide around. And it has this chamfer which makes it easy to hold down different PCB thickness uh, panels so it can work with uh, thinner or thicker panels. Uh, also made a different version that can hold uh, a rectangular magnet. This one holds larger, stronger magnets and it has two chamfers so it can also be used to hold a panel with the short side. For this to work you'll need a metal base in your pick and place or whatever other machine you might be using this on. Uh, could work in a CNC and in fact uh, I have another example here. Uh, this is a laser cutter and it has this metal honeycomb base and the magnet actually sticks to it very well. So it could be used here to hold down um, materials that are less dimensionally stable and they need to be flat on the surface. Now for this type of machine since the head is so close to the work surface, uh, I might need to remove the screw and I can still easily pick the, uh, the bracket up with my hands. So these types of holders are ideal for this type of machine where the head has to uh, be able to fly over them and not touch them. Uh, they're strong enough that even two or three can hold a panel quite securely so I need to really push this around to, to make them snap out of place. And then you can always um, print more, make more if you have a uh, uh, need to hold down, to have more hold down force or you have a larger workpiece. So next up I'll show you how I 3D model this in a very simple free uh, modeling program and also how you can change its dimensions or uh, its shape so that you can adapt it to different types of magnets that you may have. Before I move on to the 3D modeling part, I want to show you how I made measurements such that uh, you can do the same thing if you have different size magnets or if you have thicker, bigger magnets. Uh, I have these 10 millimeter magnets laying around, so I just decided to use these, but this would work for any dimension. Uh, so thick diameter is 10 millimeter, thickness is about 2.7 millimeter. So we'll make the bracket about 3.5 millimeter thick and the cutouts will be 10 millimeter in diameter and that's going to make for a tight fit for these magnets so that I don't have to use any glue or anything else to hold them in place. So here we are in 3D Builder. This is a very basic modeling program that comes with Windows 10. I know it's very simple and it's not appropriate for complex designs but for simple things and shapes like this I found it very useful especially when I was starting up and learning uh, modeling for 3D printing. This is that first uh, shape that holds two round magnets. This is for 10 millimeter in diameter. Uh, and it has that uh, through hole for the screw and the two chamfers for, for the two sides that hold down the PCB. The basic building blocks of this are just a cube that I've resized down to uh, 3.5 millimeter thickness. And uh, there's going to be the two cylinders that are 10 millimeter in diameter and 3 millimeter in height. 3 millimeter is just uh, a little bit more than the 2.7 millimeter thickness of the magnets so that's going to allow room for the magnets to fit in the block and the 10 millimeter is going to make a tight fit for those magnets so I don't necessarily have to use glue to lock them in. Uh, and then the 3 millimeter cylinder is for the through hole for the screw. For the chamfers, I just kind of uh, eyeballed two of uh, these wedges, and uh, they're not a specific dimension, but uh, I just needed two chamfers on, on one of the short and long sides. 
This second design is for larger magnets. These are half inch magnets. So I had to enlarge the block a little bit on both uh, length and also in height. And I had to move the cylinder for that uh, through hole out of the way or accommodate to accommodate uh, the two larger magnets. And then all the other things are, are the same, the two chamfers um, and everything else is the same. And then this other third design is for a rectangular magnet. This is a 24 by 9.5 by 3 millimeter uh, magnet and the hole is uh, a rectangular shape on the bottom there. And to accommodate this uh, through hole, instead of enlarging the block that way and making it get bulkier, I just decided to add a little reinforcing cylinder around it uh, such that I can merge it with the main block. And once I do that, I can subtract this cylinder from it to obtain that through hole. And then I can also subtract the shape for the magnet. And then finally, for the chamfers, I need to move one out of the way. So I will just copy the position. And that's just to avoid artifacts because they intersect at this corner. So I'll do the subtraction of this one first and then I'll paste that one back into position and I'll do the final subtraction. So there's the final object which I can then rotate 180 degrees and obtain the, the object that I'm looking for that's 3D printable. So you can do something like that or adapt it, adapt the shapes to fit your own magnets and then once you have your final shape you can uh, select everything, unselect the one you need, delete everything else and then this program allows you to export uh, the shape and the, the native extension for this is .3M so this is going to allow you to play with all the shapes that uh, I'm going to share but you can also export as SDL which is what you want for for 3D printing so uh, once you have uh, the SDL so let's just import one of these and for Prusa i3 I'm using the Prusa control slicer this is the simple basic slicer that works in most cases but what I found is uh, that for for this shape for some reason even though it's pretty simple basic shape uh, it's not gonna handle it so I chose generic pet uh, normal settings standard everything and if I generate is just going to get stuck at 21 percent it's not going to go any further i'm not really sure if this is going to be the latest version uh, you know it might be fixed in a later version but just in case you have the same version or the same software and it you know you encounter this then uh, you will need a different slicer so what i ended up doing is using their more advanced slicer this is the slicer Prusa edition and this is going to handle that shape just fine um, so if i slice that I can go to preview and there it is, no problems. And here's the latest um, bracket printed on the Prusa i3. It prints fairly quickly with normal settings, it took 14 minutes. Uh, this is the LAC enclosure that I made for my 3D printer. Hopefully I can make a video of, uh, of this as well. Alright, so here's the finished piece. Um, I'm going to have to help this screw get in here. And then uh, let's place the magnets. The secondary chamfer came out pretty good. I'm using a short M3 screw. So there you have it. You can design your own magnet brackets for uh, various uh, types of machines where you can uh, hold down a workpiece and secure it from uh, moving. You can use uh, rectangular or round magnets. Uh, I will link down the 3D models below the video. And uh, thanks for watching. If you found this content useful or like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. We'll see you later.